Hey guys, Tennessee Frank coming at you with a, a quick update on my Debian 10 install. And uh, this is running the KDE desktop environment. And uh, it's been rock solid. We can go ahead and pull up KSysGuard, take a look. I'm running just under a gig of RAM right now. Uh, of course that is because we are recording a video. You can see CPU is, is working because uh, we're doing a video. That's to be expected. Um, but normally it'll run around uh, 500, 550 meg. So it's it's on par with Mate anymore as far as uh, how heavy it's going to be. And uh, if you want to download this, I know Windows 7 is coming up on End of Life. Uh, go ahead and go over here to uh, Debian.org. And uh, they have a non-free area. I will post the link to this page. There's uh, CDs, including firmware, and then images, including firmware. Um, CDs are going to be a little bit lighter, and you're going to want to go with the live. That way you can actually boot into the desktop and see what's going on, and not just have an installer to deal with, um, but actually get into the desktop. Of course, you pick your architecture. If you've got an older 32-bit processor, they got you covered. They got the i386 stuff here. So if you want to put this on a, like an older netbook or something, you, you got it. Um, for most of us, we're going to have 64-bit processors. So you're want to, going to want to go AMD 64. Um, you want to go with the ISO hybrid. This way you can put it on the DVD or USB stick. And they have instructions right here. Shows you how you download, how you do everything. Um, this does have the non-free firmware, which is something I like because a lot of times out of the box with regular Debian, um, I have issues with Wi-Fi. It's hard to get the Wi-Fi working. So with this, you do get all those drivers and stuff you need. Uh, of course, you see there's a variety of desktops. You can go Cinnamon. They have GNOME, KDE, which is my flavor of choice. Um, you got LXDE and then the newer LXQT using Qt uh, instead of the GTK. There's Mate. Uh, standard, I'm not sure what that is. I believe they are running GNOME for standard. Uh, then XFCE, which is also a good lightweight choice. Uh, basically, though, you'll go and you'll click on the non free ISO. And it'll pull up a little menu and it'll say save file. You'll click OK you'll save this file off and then uh, put it on a DVD or USB stick boot into it you'll come into a uh, a live desktop environment where you'll have your desktop here and there'll be a little install uh, icon so you can install from there um, but they give you quite a bit of wallpaper out of the box of course I have uh, installed some of my other wallpapers Here's one of my, my more favorite ones. Kind of got that superhero look to it. Um, I also have uh, some Walther-based ones that you probably saw before. And uh, really loving my PPQ. It's a, a PPQ M2. I also have the PPS M2. And uh, I need to do a perfect pairs video on those two guns and kind of run through and, and show you those two. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys want a good, solid operating system, it comes with a, a reasonable amount of software. Of course, I have installed some games. Uh, I did put Audacity in here to do audio. Um, I believe I had to install Caden Live to do my videos. Just a few different little things. Uh, LibreOffice I updated. VirtualBox. Uh, which I got on there, which there's I think there's a little hoop you got to jump through to get it now um, It's not in the repos quite yet But yeah simple screen recorder Synoptic, you know just certain little software packages that I've come to know and love I uh, got my my Yaku drop-down terminal Which I love this terminal. It's very cool But I just want to do a really really quick update let you know how the system's been running. It's been flawless. It's been working perfect. Uh, so if you guys are looking for an operating system for uh, some older hardware, or if you're just getting kind of sick and tired of your, your Windows operating system and all the crappy updates they've been pushing out, 
and you want to go to something uh, free, open source, where you don't have to, to kiss Microsoft's butt, uh, feel free, download Debian 10, do the non-free, uh, which doesn't mean you got to pay for it. It means it has the uh, proprietary drivers and stuff for your Wi-Fi and, and everything. And uh, go ahead, put it on a USB, boot into it, give it a look. If you like what you see, throw it on your computer, run it. Uh, you can do pretty much anything with a good Linux distro that you can do with Windows nowadays, including gaming. So, uh, you know, that's not an obstacle anymore. So, uh, like I always say, either we stand up for our rights or we can sit by and watch them go away. Y'all have an awesome rest of the day. We'll talk to you later. Tennessee Frank out of here.